Stevedore. A person employed in the loading and unloading of ships. Dowager. A woman who holds titles or property from her deceased husband. Bagatelle. A billiards derived table game originating in France. Wastrel. An either or a good for nothing. Roustabout. An unskilled laborer. Bombazine. Twill fabric made of silk or rayon warp. Sibylline. Oh, a new one. Prophetic, mysterious, oracular, cryptic. Phalanx. A group of infantry assembled in close array. Purloined. Purloined? Really? What is this, 10th grade English? Moribund. On the verge of death or extinction. Kith. Acquaintances or friends. Cormorant. Cormorant, uh... Cormorant, a type of seabird. Yes. Laudanum. A tincture of opium. Indelible. Cannot be erased, eliminated, or forgotten. Seraphim. The highest order of angels. Arabesque. Oh, don't, don't, don't tell me. Do not tell me. It's, um... Context clues, Alex. Think of the context clues. A short, fanciful, musical piece. Paramour. Secret lover. Blackguard. A contemptible person. Castanet. A percussion instrument made from two concave shells held together by string. Who is this man? Nikolai Vavilov, a Soviet botanist best known for identifying centers of origin for cultivated plants. Name the parts of this ship. Gunwale, cross trees, spranker. Maidenhead. The hymen. Irascible. Easily angered. Dirigible. An airship. Sycorax. Uh, oh. Come on, Alex, you've got this. Oh, an unseen witch inhabiting the island of Prospero in Shakespeare's The Tempest. Vesuvius. Oh, you mean a stratovolcano in the Gulf of Naples responsible for the destruction of Pompeii? Parallax. The displacement and the apparent position of an object viewed from two different lines of sight. Arethusa. A Royal Navy frigate captured by the French Navy in 1759, named for a nymph in Greek mythology and immortalized in the nautical song, The Saucy Arethusa. You're ready. Hi everyone, I'm Stephen Vanderpool. I'm the writer and director for this sketch. Uh, I have a special message I'd like to deliver to Colin Malloy. Colin, I love you. Uh, <laughs> I love your songs. I love your beard. Uh, I, if I'm being honest, there's nothing I'd love more than for you to sing me bedtime tales as I run my fingers through your thick Man fur. No, no, Stephen, no, bad, bad, Stephen, you remember what happened last, no, Stephen, no, Colin, Colin, listen, I swear to God, this is nothing more than a cute love letter from Stephen, this is not a threat, this is not him, uh, showing up at your door or killing your pets, that's over, that whole thing is done with, this is just, just a fun sketch, subscribe, subscribe to Girl Pants, below, right here, subscribe to Girl Pants Production, no, 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 Stephen,